Hey, our retentive here. Um, this video is going out to Karsten. Um, congratulations on your subscribers. Uh, I was watching your video today, and uh, well, that's good. Um, but I want to do 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 a response um, regarding the name of your guitar, which looks amazing. That looks a really nice guitar. Um, uh, I'd like really like the color of it and of course the first thing I thought of you know like you were talking about uh, color of the sun or whatever um, of course the name Icarus uh, came to mind for the guitar for you so that that's my that's my name for your guitar as far as solos go um, immediately the first solo that came to mind is off of this album the first Rush album um, particularly the song Working Man. Now I got this out earlier and played it and uh, if you're interested actually from the time 2 minutes 9 seconds into the song until 4 minutes 33 seconds it's just like one continuous long solo which is uh, Alex Lifeson you gotta love it um, that would be my number one number one solo and if I learned how to use my software right, I should be able to put a tiny snippet in here right after this. Go. Uh, solo number two, Jimi Hendrix, without a doubt. Voodoo Child's Slight Return, uh, minute 54 into the song, to about 2 minutes and 45 seconds. Just crushing. Beautiful guitar work. Love it. This is, uh, of course, uh, Electric Ladyland uh, by Jimi Hendrix and the Jimi Hendrix Experience. So, yeah, that's number two. Uh, number three, get this in. Jane's Addiction, nothing shocking. Uh, this band hit me pretty hard back in the day. Um, and there's a song on this album called Pigs in Zen. Um, so if you pull that song out, about a minute 45 into Pigs in Zen through about three minutes and two seconds. Another scorching guitar solo. Amazing stuff. So, you Jane's Addiction fans out there are probably already saying to yourself, Hey man, it's not on that album. <laughs> Frankly, I didn't realize that. Um, the CD I have of the album um, has Pigs and Zen on Nothing Shocking. Um, but it was actually not... It's not actually on the vinyl. <laughs> uh, this album I got from Dalton, so uh, I had not actually played this one on vinyl since I got it, so it was a shock to me. Um, so uh, it is featured on the Jane's Addiction Triple uh, X album. Um, Pigs and Zen right there, so um, I play a snippet of that one. So. Um, Technically, I think that still counts. Pigs and Zen, maybe not from the album I showed, but from this album, uh, as solo number three. So, uh, if you can find it on the, the CD version, uh, minute 45 to 302 is the one I was after. So. Those are my three solos. And last but not least, uh, you asked about uh, what you listen to your music on. Portable music. 
and uh, I do use my phone a lot. Um, but if I'm going to the, the gym or somewhere, I break out this crusty old bad boy. Yep, the iPod generation whatever. This is an old one. 30 gig. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. But uh, yeah, this thing has been through a lot. <laughs> and frankly, uh, I don't think I've tra changed the music in here for years. There's probably, I don't know, a couple hundred albums in here. Just keeps going strong. The screen is starting to show a little interesting things here. You can, and if you can see, there's like a. It probably won't show in here, but there's like a blue line underneath the second to last album title. That doesn't seem to want to go away. So it's beginning to fail, but uh, it's been trustworthy for about man over over 10 years maybe not probably close to going on 10 years anyway I uh, just wanted to get this response out to you and uh, good luck on getting even more subscribers and I hope uh, your contest goes well and uh, talk to you soon bye everybody